If you decide to wait until the spring or summer months to buy a home in Austin, you might pay 10% or more compared to what you would pay right now. If you don't believe me, check out this market minute and I'll explain why. Latest stats from Austin Board of Realtors shows that the median price in Travis County just inched down barely $500, so really not much movement from the previous month. This is a sign that we'll probably hit the bottom of what we are expecting to see this year. They may dip a little bit more during the holiday months, but usually the fall and winter months is when we kind of hit the bottom and then things start taking off again in the spring. So if you look back at this year, the home values starting in January were just under 500,000. At the height of the market in the summer, it hit 550,000. That means that a buyer who bought in January got deals that were about 10% less than what people paid for in the summer months. Now this always happens, people are moving usually at the end of school year. So late spring and summer is when there's a mad rush of buyers, homes move a little bit faster, they get closer to asking price. But if you can buy in the off months, which is the late fall, winter months, especially during the holiday season, you can pick anything you want. You can get some incredible deals and discounts in the market right now. Right now we have over four months of inventory. Homes are sitting around 70 days or so. So that means you can go back and check out a home two, three times, make sure it's something you truly love. You've got huge bargaining power when it comes to getting closing costs and concessions. We just bought a home ourselves. One of the reasons that we bought right now is because we know it's a slower season and we can get really great deals. We got 75,000 from our builder, which we used to lower our price, but also we paid all of our closing costs and then that included a 2-1 buy down. So we are starting off with a interest rate of 4.85% for the first year that we are in our home, which is absolutely amazing. And the goal is that if rates do come back down into the fives in the next couple of years, we will refi. And we got a deal where that if we do refi, the cost of the refinance is very, very minimal. So it was a win-win for us. Why not lock in that low rate and have the builder pay for it? It's just that probably would not have happened if we had waited until the busier months in the spring and summer. Now I always say the best time to move is when it's right for you and your family. It has to meet your timeline. So I totally understand if you have kids that are in school systems and you don't want to uproot them and move them mid-year that I completely understand why you would want to wait till the end of spring and summer. But if you are someone that is very flexible, you can move whenever, you're renting month to month, definitely take advantage right now of this holiday season while things are slow. You can get unbelievable deals and I can guarantee you that if you wait until the spring and summer next year, you're gonna be paying a whole lot more.